and I heard a like a click and I was like hmm, wonder what that was what? and all of a sudden it dawned on me I left the camera up on the car so I was like oh my What's up guys? So obviously we haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks and since then the world has just gone to crap. We made a video about three weeks ago that we haven't released yet. It was literally like the day before quarantine hit. We had heard about the virus, we were still being cautious and at the end of the video talked about going to Zupa's and eating some food and that was when we first started talking about everything. We started to like wondering what was gonna happen, kind of feeling like everyone was overreacting and now here we are amongst all this craziness and Utah's about to probably do a statewide shutdown. We're gonna get to that video so you guys can watch it, but we called this video like pre-coronavirus because this literally was before the coronavirus. So our lives and perspectives and we're just a little different. It's crazy what's happened. It's insane how much has happened since then. So let's start the video. Right, so today is like the first Saturday I haven't had to work in quite some time, which is pretty nice. I woke up early, I went to the gym, got home, told Haley, Go take care of yourself, go to the gym, go have fun, go do something for yourself because she's always with the boys while I'm working. So I'm uh, taking the boys to the park right now. She went to the gym, she'll meet us up there and have ourselves a boys day. It'll turn into a family day, which is also good. And my brother and, and Nixon will be happy as a family. That's right, and I don't have to go to the gym because I already did. And you already went to work. That's right, so that means that we can hang out. Good job, that makes me so happy. Who are the kids? I don't know. Let's, I have to ask their name. And I say, hey, let's be friends. Yeah, we be so nice, like Lucas and I. Huh. Lucas so nice. Yeah, huh? he sure is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get that by to the friends. Okay, let's see, but we gotta be really nice to everyone, okay? Okay, I promise. Okay. Pinky promise. Definitely thought it was gonna be warmer today, so I didn't wear a sweater, and I'm already kind of regretting that decision. Not quite summer yet. Big day. I actually wasn't even recording, thought I was recording and I just gave a whole spiel about Nixon on his little rider bike. He's getting so good on that thing, I think we're ready to get him a pedal bike. And these strider bikes are cool because you just use your feet and you cruise and you actually, he gets really good at just... He gets really good at balance, so by the time we put him on a pedal bike I think he's just gonna cruise. So we're thinking about getting him a pedal bike this summer. Here he comes. My bike called? is called a motorcycle. Oh. My bike goes super fast. You're cruising, dude. You're uh -huh. so good at that. Do you want to go back down the hill? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Jeez, careful. Yes, he definitely needs his helmet right now. He's pretty smart though. When he gets going fast, he'll peel off into the grass. Watch. Good job, bud. Good job, Nixon. Why do you have a little tear on you? Is it windy? Well, look who decided to join us. Hi. On our guy date. Good. How was your uh, treat yourself? It was good. I, um, yeah, I'll let you boys do your thing. More like we let you do your thing. <laughs> I never go to the gym anymore and I never go shopping. Like everything is online these days. And I just don't really like going to the mall and outlets anymore. Like, it just takes too much time. Like, I'd way rather just online shop. I had a gift card I had to use that I've had forever. 
I just decided to run over real quick because I can get way more done by myself. So, yeah. Instead of meeting us at the park, which we thought she was going to do. You told me I could go to the store, so I did. Yeah, got to give her a hard time. It got a little bit chilly, so we got out of there. As you guys know, we've got ourselves a house in the works, so we're going to go to Home Depot and just look at some fixtures, some fans, house stuff. And, uh,. We did that last weekend. We actually went to RC Blade and looked at furniture. This is always fun, but really hard with kids. I don't think so. Come back here. Nope. I don't know what it was called, though. Alright, see you in Oh my gosh, this is it. Color of our house. This is the color of our house. <gasps> yes. Wow, that's actually really pretty. Get him. Ow! Get him. Fall down. Okay, I will. I'm Okay, fall down. Oh! <laughs> Hey, don't you put your mouth on that. Don't you. Gosh dang it. Nixon, what'd you get? And a shovel. Oh, you're spoiled, dude. You, it takes nothing for us to say no to you. How the frick did stay on there that whole time? Oh my gosh, you guys. Walked out of, <laughs> we walked out of Lowe's. I put the camera that I'm holding in my hand at this moment on top of our car. And I said to Haley, don't let me forget that I put this up here because we've all been there. We've all done this. We've all put our stuff up and then we drive away and we leave our I put Luca in his car seat and just drove away. We drove like five miles. I didn't even think that it would still be on top of the car. Like I just figured we would need it. Like I was about to call Lowe's and say, go out and look for the I camera in the parking off. lot. Well, we just went through an intersection and I, and I heard a like a click and I was like, hmm, wonder what that was. We're just driving oh. and all of a sudden it dawned on me. I left the camera up on the car and I thought for sure it was in the road because because I heard that click. So I was like, oh my bleepity bleep. And she's like, what, what? And I pull over and then all of a sudden I'm like, I think it might still be up there. And I get up there and it's still on the roof of our car. You guys. Oh my gosh. First my camera bag stolen and then this, and I am the luckiest oh, person <laughs> on this planet. On wood. What do you think about that, Nix? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> He's just like confused. I need to count my blessings, guys. Can you show off what we do together? Yeah, this is what we do when the boys go down for a nap. <laughs> it's funny, because we have been doing my hair for, it's been two years. Oh, wow. Then this summer, I think it'll be about two years. And every time we post anything about it, we get all the hair girls that bash us. Do we? Well, like, I get messages. I've never from, heard that. I get messages from people that are like, oh my gosh, be careful, you're gonna cut your hair off. Oh my gosh, I really hope you know what you're doing. I would not suggest that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a certified hairdresser at this point. Might as well have gone to hair school. Yeah. More hours. More hours. hours than that's true. <laughs> no offense to anyone that's put in hours, by the way. And there it is. There's the hair. It's wet and slicked back in a bun because pure white. Time. Give myself a, a gold star for that one. We're gonna go out to eat to Zupa's right now. We're gonna go get some food with my family, my mom, brother, sister, their families. Get some soup. Everyone feels like some soup. Haley's a little under the weather, so soup sounds good. Wisconsin cauliflower. That's where it's at. So we're gonna go there. Not gonna film us at the restaurant. That's never fun. It's always awkward. So. That's gonna call it here. We'll end it with a little bit of a, a cell phone video from Zupa's. All right, it's the end of the video. Obviously, we went to Zupa's, but I didn't get any footage. But the whole time we were there, we were kind of laughing and joking about the whole corona thing. And now, here we are, two weeks later. So we've got another video that's basically been kind of documenting a little bit here and there as we've been going through this quarantine and just kind of what we've been doing. There's just a couple parts to it. So that'll be the next video after this one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're all staying healthy out there. Hope you're all safe during this craziness. And uh, we'll see you later.